All right, guys, so we are in week two of Choose to Cruise for the Simply Grace and Grit group. Um, this week, we are going to be talking about what to expect. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over. We have two directors who both earned um, the last trip incentive, not the last incentive, how to make sure I get that right. They also earned that too, but they both went to Disney and earned that, um, a free trip, a free trip to Disney, which is insane. So I am going to change the view real quick and ask to unmute. maybe yeah okay she's unmuted where's there's Paige all righty Paige and Hannah y'all both should be unmuted let me make sure Hello. there you are <laughs> Awesome. So Hannah and Paige are two of our bomb directors. They experienced their first incentive trip with Disney. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it over to them and they're going to talk to y'all all about it. Hannah Banana. I will absolutely go first. Can you guys hear me? Just give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> Awesome, awesome. Okay, I am Hannah Giroux. I am the director of Together Rising. Um, I'm a newer director. I promoted um, in April, I believe. Um, I will tell you, I am on vacation up in very rural Maine. So if my internet gets a little choppy, I'm sorry. I am here. I'm trying my best. So, um, I am super excited to tell you guys about how I earned the last incentive. So as Whitney said, Paige and I earned the last incentive trip, was, which was to Disney. Um, when I started planning this trip, I was a lead consultant. I sat at SFR last year at Myrtle Beach mm -hmm. and I am going to Disney. That was all I said to myself is I am going to Disney. I was a lead consultant. And I did it. So it does not matter if you're a lead consultant, a certified consultant, or, or a director. It is obtainable 110%. It is all mindset. All mindset. So I will tell you the biggest thing that surprised me as someone who earned the incentive and was working towards the incentive is how obtainable it is. If you make a plan, follow that plan and have the passion to know what you want, you will get there. I made a plan last year. I shot for level two. So the Disney incentive last year was a little bit different than this one. SFR wasn't an option. It was just six levels of Disney. So I shot for level two. I earned level one, which I was super, super proud of. But I'm telling you guys, if you follow this program, I did last year, we had Earn the Fit, which was the family incentive trip. It's almost identical to this one, which is Choose to Cruise. Um, if you follow everything that Whitney and Anya and all of us tell you guys and show you guys, I promise it will help you earn this incentive and it will also set you up for a remarkable business. So everything I earned and I learned doing this last incentive push, I have kept doing in my business. So I continue to have those sponsoring conversations. I continue to have that high PRV. Um, don't let your mindset just be for this incentive. Let it be a mindset that you continue through your entire business um, and really through your entire life. Um, <clears throat> so it really does become a lifestyle. Um, but the biggest thing that I will tell you guys, and I will keep it short and sweet, make a plan, write it down, and follow it. If you find that you are struggling in a certain area, reach out to your sponsor, reach out to your director, reach out to your accountability buddy, because I promise you, if you can stay on track to what your goals are, you will be on that Alaskan cruise. 
next year. You know, you will be with anybody else who wants it, whether they're certified lead director, superstar director, we will all be there together. So I'll let Paige talk to you guys a little bit now. And like, it, it's so cliche, but it is not about the destination. It's all about the journey and the growth you have. Um, because like Hannah said, you, this isn't about the destination. The destination is the reward, sure. But the whole concept since he's wanting you to do is grow. They're wanting you to expand your business to network. Um, and if you keep implementing that past the incentive, you're going to find that every incentive is that much more attainable. Um, when I started Sensi, I kind of just hit the ground running and every goal that was put in my direction, I, I, I love a challenge and I kept pushing. Um, so when the incentive happened, I told myself, I want to go to Disney. I want to take my family to Disney. Um, I did earn level one. I brought my family along because they gave us that option. Um, and it's one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. I've been to Disney, but I've never been to Disney Cincy style. And let me tell you, one of my favorite things about the trip, I have notes because there are so many things. <laughs> um, I have a few, but I loved, there's nothing that can, I, if you're a parent, nothing that compares to seeing your child experience magic um, and the awe and the wonder and the excitement and watching him just float. He's three now, like him flow through the United Kingdom and go on every single ride and, and express himself, whether he was enjoying it or not. Like it's the most phenomenal, phenomenal experience. And since he gave that to us, since he said, you worked hard, let me show you something. Um, so that was one personal experiences that I was in love with, with the trip. The other is meeting new Cincy sisters and learning they are in my family tree. I was in line with Hannah and we started talking and we talked to a girl in front of us and she had this really cool tattoo and we were chatting with her and she's like, oh yeah, I'm from North Carolina. My SSD is, uh, you know, from there too. And we're like, oh, Chloe Cox. And she says, yeah. And I'm like, us too, you know, like we were all in the same boat. So it was just really cool that you're sitting there and you're meeting sisters that you had no idea, but they're connected to you. Like it is completely family oriented whenever it comes to supporting each other there. Um, and Hannah will tell you that we were in a ride. <laughs> we were in, um, she had like an RTD2 on her leg or something. And we were in the Rise of the Resistance ride. And I screamed, hey, tattoo, come over here. <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay. And she just came and, ride and came and stood with us in the middle of the ride because we, we connected in line. Um, not to mention the sensey spirit you feel through the consultants. There are thousands of consultants there, not to mention more so because they brought their families. 5 a.m. guys in line to get in the bus. All of us are like, we need coffee, but the entire group, thousands of people, Sensi spirit, Sensi 5 a.m. Like, it's just a feeling that you don't, you don't realize is gonna make you feel overwhelmed. And to know that you're connected. Um, oh, what was the vibe there? Sorry, I'm losing track. So what was the vibe? Love, nothing but family love. Um, meeting the person beside you and you're already connected because you have a passion that is joined together. And the person beside you, you don't know. However, you know they're sensey and you know you love them. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Um, because it was just, I don't know, it was just insanely family oriented. You're connected through this insane passion that you have to grow and to love on people. Um, and we are family, even though you don't realize it. We're connected even though you don't realize it. And when you're around a full group of sensey sisters and misters and families and their families, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling to have your passion shared. Um, and then on the Disney aspect of it, 
and Cincy, Disney's already magical. Disney already wants you to know that they love you. They love every one of you that comes into their place. But with Cincy, it was like it made, you knew you shouldn't be working that week. You know what I mean? I felt like I was going to get in trouble, not only by Whitney and Anya, <laughs> but I felt from Cincy's perspective, you should not be working. And they, they made you feel like, take this time for you, soak it in. Um, they had special room drops that there was this cookie place and Hannah was talking about this cookie place, talking about this cookie place. We went to get in line. It was like around the corner, an hour and a half wait. Well, guess what? We had a room drop and we got cookies from that place. Like it's those little details that Sensi thinks of to drop in your room, to send a special card. Hey, I know you had a long day, but gear up for tomorrow. Like they, they did extra night parties. They did extra little drops as you walked into the park. Like you knew you were supposed to be on vacation and you knew you were going to get in trouble if you weren't on vacation. You know what I mean? I just, I can't even, um, definitely wanted you to experience every drop of magic there was to give. That was my feeling of it. So I will piggyback off of what Paige said. <clears throat> I go to Disney frequently. It is a family thing of mine. Um, we're Disney junkies, but I'm not sure I can ever go back not in Sensi style. All right. So, and Paige and I have talked about this time and time again. Whether you go to Disney, whether you go on a Alaskan cruise, whether you go to Timbuktu with Sensi, you will have an experience that is unlike anything you have ever felt, seen, imagined. Um, like Paige said, we had room drops every night, something fun, something magical. Um, but one of the biggest things is we all got backpacks that said um, imagination celebration on them. And when you walked around the park, you saw hundreds of other people in the parks with them on the buses and one of the ladies that I met and I became really good friends with and I still keep up with her I I don't didn't know her from Adam come to find out she is an SSD and she is very successful has a very large team but there was no difference between me uh -huh. as a and her as an SSD we were all just a consultants enjoying this amazing opportunity that was provided to us by Cindy. Like I said, I can't, I can't even begin to describe. And I took my husband and even he was like, you got to earn every trip. We, we can never not go on a trip. You will forever be disappointed in any vacation you have. <laughs> yes. Our husbands, I think both of them will be like, hmm, yeah. I need to sell in Cincy so I can, I can earn it if you don't. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're earning it. Um, but one of the other things is never did I imagine that everybody you see from home office was yeah. at the parks every single day, high-fiving us as we walked in. So y'all, if you saw SFR, Deb Bowden, she was there. She gave everybody a high five. Chuck was there. Um, Heidi Morville. Um, God, anybody you've seen on a video from Cincy was there. And they were all just as normal and ordinary as it comes and genuine. To the point you thought Chuck was over the day. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was there and he's just like, okay, here's a balloon. <laughs> exactly. They gave out balloons. You guys, I, really, Paige and I could go on and on and we'd be happy to talk to any, any of you guys about just how amazing it was. But really, you can't begin to put into words or even a perspective how much Cincy goes above and beyond for us as consultants who work hard to earn these incentives they really are a once in a lifetime opportunity. There is nothing like that, like them. There's nothing like the true sensey spirit that comes from the other consultants that you're with. And like Paige said, we met, we were in line for flight of passage and there was a whole group of people that were standing beside us that are from towns right beside us in North Carolina. You network with other people, you meet other people and it was by far the most amazing experience I can say I have ever had in my 30 years of my life. So that is by far yeah. the best thing ever. You never realize. Like it's, it's 
one of a kind. I legit think I will be disappointed in Disney ever <laughs> from now on. <laughs> it's so true. Disney, Disney makes you feel like it's all about you, but whenever Cincy and Disney both are like pampering you, it's it's a whole new it's a whole new world. Like it's, you never know. Like you just never know what you're missing. Um, something else we wanted to go over is the levels of the incentive you can earn. So this incentive is set up a little differently. It's not a family trip, but it is a you and a friend trip or you and a spouse trip. Um, there are people that do not have interest in growing a team and that's okay because you can still earn something here. You don't have to grow if you're not ready to grow. Um, you can earn SFR. Um, your tickets for SFR would be, um, your registration is taken care of. And by that you need eight, 18,000 points. Um, it comes, if you go on the incentive tab, there is a breakdown from where you at your current rank and it will help you break it down as the best way you can earn. Um, and that doesn't require any, any sponsoring. And I highly recommend if you are not shooting for a cruise, you need to be shooting for SFR because SFR last year is where I decided I want to be a director. SFR last year is where I decided I was going to Disney. Um, SFR last year is where I met Whitney and Hannah. These people that you work with that you don't, you talk to regularly. When you meet them in person, you, you know them. It's just family. And when you decide that you're going to go to SFR next year, pray, pray next year it is in person i don't even know what that experience is like but i hear it is unthinkable you cannot imagine i versed it as uh what is it overwhelmed with the sensey holy spirit <laughs> anya <laughs> because you have thousands and thousands and thousands of consultants from all over all over celebrating each other watching each other walk across the stage getting those special little goodie bags and drops and it's something you don't want to miss so if you're not ready to grow a team perfectly okay you can still earn level one and you should be shooting for level one because sfr is an unimaginable experience um level two 25,000 points, 4,045 hundred need to be sponsoring points. If you have a team, you wanna be sure they're growing because as they grow, you can earn those points as well and you need to be sure you're sponsoring and especially sponsoring in August. August is the prime time to be sponsoring because we have a joint special. You get the shooting star kit for free. I would sponsor as many people, have as many join conversations as you can this month, because if they join this month, they have the opportunity to go on a cruise. They have the opportunity to get that kit for free, which they have not done in a year and a half. Like this is the, this month is prime time to share what Sensi can do for others, to bless others, whether it's with that trip, that kit, that's an amazing kit and that sisterhood and that community. And then we have level three, 45,000 points, 8,000 need to be sponsoring points. That is for a trip for two on an Alaskan cruise. And then we have top 75, which is of the level three earners, which you have the option to do your Alaskan cruise or go to the Netherlands. I mean, <laughs> is there an option there? I don't think so. <laughs> And if you want to be in that top 75, you need to be pushing your PRV like crazy. And I know, I know there are some on here that have some bomb, bomb PRV that I can't even think of. So put, <laughs> push that PRV because you can earn top 75. There's no reason you can. All of us can. And I will tell you, I wrote down my plan to earn level two. No, just kidding. Level three. Level three, well, level two, not top 75, calm down. Um, <laughs> level two, I think level three because it's new. <clears throat> level two, and 
all I can, my, my mom put this in perspective for me. My mom is on my team. And one of the things I am counting on is a promotion. I am putting it in place that I will promote to SD. I'm terrified. I'm terrified, but I'm counting that that is what goes into my point system is that I promote. If I don't promote, my points are going to get all wonky. My mom, I told her I was terrified to put that on myself because that's a lot to put on yourself to say, I'm going to promote to SD. A lot. Like I'm getting chills just talking about it. It's a lot. I'm nervous talking about it. My mom said, well, Paige, do it scared, honey. What the heck? <laughs> My mom reminded me to do it scared and I'm terrified, but hell, I'm going to try. I'm not going to, I'm not going to not try. Why, why shouldn't I try? Why shouldn't I encourage my team to grow? We can have any level of this incentive. So we need to shoot for it. Do it scared y'all. I will also add <clears throat> to pages that last year for our Disney trip, we did get an option for a payout um, that has not been discussed this year. I got you, girl. Sorry. Um, that has not been discussed this year. Um, that, I think that was mostly because of COVID last year and not making people feel pressured to go wow. on the trip or miss out. Um, but that's not to say that they wouldn't offer a payout this coming trip. Um, and I know personally, Whitney and I have talked about personal things and why wouldn't I strive for something mm -hmm. if there's other things in my personal life that might not make next year as attainable for me? But there may be a payout that maybe something Cincy does again. So make sure that you realize that maybe a cruise isn't your thing, but there may be other options for you. So like I said, last year they did do a payout, um, depending on which level you earn. Um, they haven't said that this year, so don't like, say, oh, I'm going to get the money, but know that that has been an option in the past. I also saw Whitney threw it in the chat in case somebody missed it. SFR registration is not the $11 or the $43 like we've had. We're talking $250, $350, $400. Yes. Not the $43 like little kit. So I don't want you guys to think that you're like, oh, well, they're just going to give me a little $40 kit. No, we're talking major registration is going to be covered for you. So just something to keep in perspective too, for if you're choosing just to not worry about sponsoring points and you're going for level one, that is a large registration fee that they're going to cover for you as well. So I mean, it, it says you'll be getting that much in product too, when it comes yes. to goodie bags and drops and things like that. That's uh, that. What is it? The uh, payment the 350 or whatever mm -hmm. you're gonna it's gonna be worth it yes it's gonna be worth it since he doesn't I gotta watch my language since he doesn't half-ass anything yeah <laughs> be very blunt they don't they don't go half steam for anything they, don't. they so, really don't they don't hey, i remember okay i'm sidebar food food here <laughs> since he popped up food stands all throughout the parks when we we had our after hour parties and our morning open entrance and stuff like that so we, we legit hauled tail between different areas of the parks because they had different variations of food and we just wanted to try all the food because since he popped it all up for us and they're like here take it you know here take it i don't think i've ever had a mac and cheese roll a burger roll but it was delicious they shove food in our face everywhere you turn so they, they do not let you go hungry and they're not letting you leave bored or unimpressed. Nope. And I think I speak for Paige and I, we are happy to talk to anybody who is interested in either how we broke down our points last year, how we did it from, um, like I started as a lead consultant. I know Paige um, was right there with me, um, mm -hmm. directors, how that has helped our business because like I said, it is a lifestyle. And I know that both of us would be happy to talk to anybody who um, has questions about getting to this incentive point. So 
I think if Paige is done, we'll turn it back over to Whitney and Anya. Paige, y'all done? He looked like he wanted to say something else. Nope, you good? I'm done. That was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I got chills over and over because everything they said. I mean, it really is just indescribable. And I'm going to talk to y'all about my trip at the end. But next we have Anya, and she is going to just talk to y'all about a little bit about the Broadmoor and then about just capability of doing this. So Anya, where are you at? I'm right here. Perfect. Not her. So I chose the Broadmoor for the last incentive trip because I have never had a honeymoon. So I was a single mom. My husband and I got married and we kind of just like dove into life. I didn't get a honeymoon. And so it's something I've always wanted. Um, and why not take it when it can be faux free, right? So I chose the Broadmoor for me and my husband. It was fantastic. I will be super transparent. I've been all around the world. I grew up mostly in Germany, like, but I don't think I've ever seen anything as pretty as the Broadmoor. And I think with all the sensey stuff, it just made it 10 times better for me. Um, when we left, my husband did say, okay, we'll never pay for another vacation again. What do I need to do to help you get the next incentive trip? Like that's his thing. He's like, I don't know that it could be any better. Just like Paige and Hannah said, meeting Heidi and Orville, like they talked to me like I was a person like, Hey, okay. This is so awkward. Cause you're like, up here in my eyes, right? But they're just talking to me like it was nothing. Talking to my husband, they asked him what he thought or about me joining Sensi, and he was like, you know, whatever, whatever she wants to do is fine. But they just literally had a thirty-minute conversation with us, like it was nothing. Dan Orchard, the one you see on the end of month lives, literally asked our table when we had breakfast, "Where do you guys want to go for the next incentives? Like, we're taking all of your ideas." Like what? You care. You care what we think. They do. Sensi loves their consultants. I knew it, but I did not know it to the extent I did until I took my trip. Okay. To the point where one of our room drops and it made me and my husband tear up because he is in the military. We came back to a folded flag. And I was like, uh, okay. And in America, the beautiful book, I mean, this thick, heavy book, my first thought was we all flew here. Okay, but then when I opened up the stuff, you guys, they sent each person got a certificate from their senator. So the flag came from our senators from our state. Each one was signed by our senator that talks about us being a Sensi consultant, how we earned this trip, and it was in each of our rooms. Like the work that had to have been to put into that was just mind blowing to me. Okay, and like Hannah and Paige both said, you guys, there are so many people that earn this incentive. I'm not kidding. I think I only met three SSDs that picked the Broadmoor that I know of that were there. I met one other star director, and the rest were director to lead consultants hanging out, doing the darn thing. They were there. Like it was. It was just amazing. I think when you can walk into a bar and they hold the bar open after hours for only Sensi consultants and you walk in and everybody greets you like literally it's a family reunion and you have no idea who these people are. There's nothing like it. Like it was just amazing. Amazing. So that's what I have on the Broadmoor. It was fantastic. We got to do all the things. I'm never ziplining again. There is that. Okay. But like you know, massages and facials, and we literally were pampered. I don't think I could have asked for a better honeymoon, period. And then it was free. And I literally, we left spending $14. You can't beat that. And I'm, when I say rich people, y'all, like to the point where, okay, Kevin and I are sitting at dinner, right? My husband and I, and this lady beside us is talking and she's talking about the fact that she doesn't know why her friend broke up with that guy for a new guy, because I mean, he's got money. He's like a project manager, but you know, he doesn't have family money, rich people at the Broadmoor. Okay. Like we don't roll in those circles. If you knock on my door again, we're going to have problems. Sorry. My kid's hungry. Just let it go. It's fine. Go get some food. Okay. Y'all there's nobody here but me. This is what we do. Anyways. All right. I'm so sorry. We're going to get into capability. Now that you see like, this is my life. This is it's normal here. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> okay. Capability. All right. Do you really believe that you are capable of this incentive trip? Okay. Drop that in the chat, please. For me, do you really, really believe it in your heart of hearts? Do you believe it? Okay. Definitely love 
that. Love it. Yes, absolutely. 100%. I'm talking to the right people. Okay, this is good. Everybody saying yes. I love it. Okay, wonderful. I love this. Great. We do all have moments of self doubt, right? Sometimes you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still doing the same thing, but like results aren't happening. That's normal. You're going to have that throughout this process. I want you to know that. Okay. But any self doubt that you have, it starts with a thought. That's where it's going to start. Okay. So I'm preparing you because you're all ready, but I'm preparing you because it's not going to be all, yes, I'm capable the entire freaking time. I'm going to be super honest. It's just not. Okay. We're human. It is what it is. So I want you to think about that. It starts with a thought. Okay. And I want you to think about when you get into a tough moment in your business, in your life, and whatever you're doing, how long do you let that thought stay in your head? Do you let it just sit there? Do you ruminate over it over and over again? Like how long do you let those thoughts of, I can't, it's not going to happen. Dang, I'm literally running into brick walls here. How long do you let those things sit in your head? All right. Think about that. So if you are a Christian, if you probably, even if you're not, we're all about good vibes right now, right? You've probably heard Corinthians 10, five over and over again. All right. Where it literally says, capture your thoughts. That's the biggest thing. Capture your thoughts, capture your thoughts, capture. We hear it all the time, especially if you've been in church at all. Okay. The inner critic that says that you can't, that you're not good enough. Again, it's going to come back to your thought, but let me tell you, Please write this down. You cannot criticize yourself into being a better person. You cannot criticize yourself into being a better leader, a better consultant, whatever it is. Let this be for your entire life. You cannot criticize yourself into being better. Like it ain't going to happen. Okay. You're, you just won't. All right. So you are choosing. Okay. When you're choosing to criticize yourself, you are choosing to let yourself down because the more that thought lingers in your head, the more true you allow it to become, right? You allow it to become. Our thoughts then become our words. And when I tell my boys all the time, your words are so powerful. You've got to be very, very careful what you say out loud, very careful. If you sit here and say, you can't, you're right. Congrats, you can't, like, no, we're not doing that, okay? So once you say those things out loud, those words, thoughts, words, then it becomes your reality. That is now truly what you believe. And it's what is going to happen throughout your life. Okay. So you've got to capture those thoughts. And it's literally with anything in your entire life, right? Oh, I'm too busy. There's so much to do. Are you? Are, are you? Or like, did you just not make it a priority? Please let me know. Like, are you too busy? Because like, we're all busy, boo. Every single one of us is busy, but we're finding time for what's important, correct? Okay, then, right? Oh, I can't book any parties. No one wants to book any parties with me. Are you sure? Are you positive? Because I bet there's at least one person on your entire freaking Facebook that you've not talked to and you've not asked, and they probably want some free wax and warmers. Maybe they can't afford them, and that's the only way they can get them. Right? I mean, think about that. Have you literally asked everybody? Because I went through my friends just the other day, and I'm pretty sure about... 925 people. I'm like, I have not spoke to, and I don't even know how long. Most of them, I don't know who they are because I add people after they join a party. Like, those are all people to talk to, okay? Think about these things. You just haven't asked them yet. Oh, I'll never earn this incentive. It's too hard, okay? Do not let that creep into your head during this entire process. We are not doing that. You are taking that captive right there. You're like, mm, I don't think so. We're not doing that. In those scenarios, you have literally given yourself a way out. You've given yourself a way to say, oh, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to stop here. Okay. Because you now believe that it's true. So think about that. All right. So when we capture our thoughts, as soon as you start thinking these negative things, okay, we've got to turn it around. No one has booked a party yet, but I'm not giving up. I've got more people to ask. And then you've got to put in a word of action. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I talk to at least three people tomorrow about parties. You don't just get to sit there. You can't just sit there and be like, okay, so like manifestation is one thing, right? We are going to say things out loud because we believe that they're true, but there's got to be some work behind it, which is just not going to happen in thin air. All right. We got to work. Okay. So that action is going to be your key, man. This incentive is tough, but I know no matter what, it's going to make me and my business better. Let me relook at my points and see where I can do better. Where can I work harder? All right, those are things we're doing because you are capable. 
write it down. I am capable, please. I am capable. In big, bold letters, highlighted with the marker, I am capable, all right? You can do this, period. Period, you can do it. So that nagging little voice, I'm gonna go into my slight hippie mode right now, so just bear with me, okay? I want you to visualize this with me, all right? So yes, I do want you to close your eyes. Go ahead and just close them on up, close your eyes. I can see you, <laughs> so close your eyes, okay, close them. All right, are you ready? When you hear, you'll never, you're not good enough, it's impossible, whose voice is that in your head? Whose face do you see? I did this earlier and it literally brought me to tears. Okay, whose face do you hear? And like, or whose face do you see? You're all muted, right? Everybody's muted, every single one of you, I can see you, you're all muted. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to tell that person, whoever that is to sit down and shut up right now. Just go ahead, sit down and shut up. Say it out loud, let them know. We're not doing that. You can open your eyes again, okay? Super, super honest. That is what you need to do every single time. Every single time, all right? And I'm gonna be, for me, sometimes I literally tell the devil to sit down and go back to hell where he came from. Like I will say, my kids know, you guys, my kids, they do, they know. I'll be like, nope, devil, you better go back to hell where you came from. I don't have time for that today because I'm not doing it. You've got to take that thought captive, okay? We're going to make sure we're doing that because for me, like I know that I'm a child of God. I have authority over the devil. We ain't playing this game. Like you are not going to sit here and hold me back. No, I'm not going to let you. Absolutely not, all right? You need to be thinking about those things. We do not have time to think of anything other than how strong we are that there's a deep desire in us for a reason, you are not here by accident. 110%, I believe that you are not here by accident, okay? You can do anything you put your mind to and that you work for. And I don't know if anybody remembers my mantra, but when I am feeling down, I do like to shout this in the mirror really, really loudly, okay? I am a bad B and I can be anything I wanna be. And if you need to take that, you just stick it in your back pocket. Because sometimes you gotta pump your damn self up and if that's just the truth, okay? So now more than ever is the time to remember your why. Why are you in this group, right? I had someone on my team, they told me, they were like, my mom, that's one of her dreams. I'm going to make it happen. And I was like, yes. And her mom is sick right now. And it brought me to tears. And I'm like, that's why I'm here. I'm here for that, okay? Yes, this is why you remember your why. Why do you want this so badly? You need to write it down. You need to stick it in a place where you can look at it every freaking day because not every day is going to be easy. Not every day are you going to want to feel like doing the work. We say do it scared, do it tired. Do it when you don't feel like it. Do it when you have no motivation because you're capable and you're worth it, okay? So you want to think about it, how you can get there. That plan, we didn't tell you just to write it, to write it. Put it where you can see it every single day. Track your own points. Yes, since he does it for you, but there's power in you tracking your own points, okay? Then you're also going to sit here and you're gonna think, how can I get uncomfortable to make this dream happen? What can you do that you've never done before? Because you're capable of that. Get uncomfortable, work for it, open your mouth, okay? And for the love of God, freaking please, have something positive pour into you every single day. Like, it cannot be Whitney, it cannot be me, it can't be Paige, it can't be Hannah. You guys find something. I don't care if it's a podcast, it's your devotion, it's your Bible, it's some inspirational music, whatever it is, pour into yourself every single day, okay? You've got to. The world is literally taking us, like it, they're taking us by the throats right now, all right? You've got to pour into yourself, all right? Because like they're going to bring you down real quick, okay? You've got to do that. Fill up yourself. Incentives are not just fun trips, they're there for a reason, like Paige said, they're there to grow you. They're there to grow your business, all right? They're there to change the game. Hannah said she started her incentive as a lead. She's a director. Hello? Like, they're there for a reason, okay? The incentive is literally like the cherry on top. It's like an explosive, amazing cherry with all kinds of yummy stuff in it, but it's the cherry on top, all right? So I want you guys to think of that. This is meant to grow your mindset. It's meant to grow your business. It's not going to be easy, but you are capable. It's going to take work. That's literally the point. It's going to take work, okay? We are gonna see who really, really worked for it. But let me tell you that you are worth it. Your dreams are worth putting in the work, period. Are you ready? 
I feel like I need to, your dreams are worth putting in the work. Like, I just need to like slap you in the head. Like they're worth it. Your dreams are so worth it and you're so worth it. So put in the work because you're capable. Okay. You are literally going to feel on top of the world when this is over, because you know, you did the hard work and you left no excuses on the table. Okay. You're going to do it. So put in the work because you're more than capable, capture your thoughts and let's get it done. I'll see y'all on the cruise. Like, let's go. It's going to be good. All right. All right. So good as always. Um, hope you're taking notes. Side note, I'm taking notes. I hope you're taking notes. Um, but before I start on my subject, I just want to tell y'all real quick about my experience with incentives. My first and only one I've actually ever attended because the last two that I've earned, um, COVID happened. And the last one we had, we were going to go to the Broadmoor, but with family um, timing and AKA the army didn't work out. So the last two trips I've taken the payout, very, very thankful and grateful for that because that has blessed our family immensely. But the only, the first and only one I've attended was to Mexico. Um, I earned that as a star consultant. Okay. So let's just put that out there that my first incentive trip completely all expenses paid. Um, what's it called when everything's included? All inclusive. All inclusive. <laughs> um, trip to Mexico, food, drink, alcohol, everything. Okay. Was a star consultant. So if you're sitting here as an essential or a certified or a star or a lead, anywhere in between, wherever you are, I don't care what you are. If you joined yesterday, you can earn this incentive. Okay. Mexico was amazing. I literally kept waiting for a bill because I was like, I don't feel like this is real. And I wasn't really prepped for the incentive. Um, yeah, we'll just say that. So I wasn't really sure what to expect or I didn't really have like the background to what really happened at an incentive. So when we had like the Scentsy parties and stuff like that, we were just kind of like, are we supposed to be here? Because I feel like we're not supposed to be here, you know? And it was just that kind of thing where we were treated so well, better than we've ever been treated before that I literally kept telling Eric, like, I think they have the wrong room. I think they, this is meant for someone else. Like, why are they dropping me these things? Why are they giving us these things? Um, and it's interesting that Hannah had that experience with um, the girl who has, is very successful in this business. I'm not sure who it is, but I too had a very similar experience um, in Mexico. So we were at the pool, we were hanging out, and there were a group of ladies with their husbands and they were just talking about their farm and um, like home life. And they were actually talking about some events that, they, that were going on while they're away. And, um, you know, they introduced themselves and she was like, yeah, my name's Deanie. Nice to meet you. And I was like, nice to meet you too. And I, and I was like, what's your name? And she was like, my name's Addie. And I was like, okay, so nice to meet you. Well, just probably a year and a half ago, I realized who those people were. If you're not sure who those are, look them up. Deanie is the first Sensi consultant ever. So there's that. Um, I actually reached out to her a few months ago and was just like, hey, you probably don't remember me, but thank you for being so amazing. Like, thank you for just being you when I met you because I didn't realize that you were you until like very recently. Um, Addie is very close with her. She was also one of the first. Um, she's been with Cincy for a very long time. So their teams and obviously <laughs> groups are the foundation of Cincy. But that was never an inkling of who they were. They did say like, who's your SSD? And I told them Chloe and they were like, oh yeah, I love her. You know, it was just a very nonchalant thing. And I didn't really think of it until I found out who the first Cincy consultant was. So, um, you know, everything that, that the girl said, the experience, um, it was literally like our honeymoon. We, we did have a honeymoon, thankfully, but and Eric said the same thing that all the other husbands said. What are we doing? Where are we going next? What are we doing? How do we earn the next one? Where are we going? When are they announcing it? Okay. 
because it is an experience that you cannot describe. And I know we spent a lot of time talking to y'all about this, but you really fully will not get what we mean until you experience it. So yes, SFR is an option. And SFR is an experience, but if you are able and you have the option, the, I wish that we would have gone to Disney. I have super bad FOMO of missing out on Disney. I earned it for three. We are a family of four. So we would have had to purchase one um, to go, but it just, the timing didn't work for us. So we weren't meant to go. I'm coming to peace with that. But to experience that would be so much more um, than the cash to be completely honest with you. It was a lot of money and I'll put the income disclosure in this. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it, it, it was not equal to what I know it would have been for our family. So just keep that in mind too, as everything's going out, whatever happens since he will make it right. If something happens with COVID or there's something that, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I cannot predict since he will make it right for us. Um, so do you have anything? You good? Um, yeah, I would just say just the level of hospitality you get from them is, is just crazy. From when you first get there to register everything, like we went zip lining, like have everything lined up for you. It's an amazing experience. Yeah. I mean, there is no like want or need for anything on those trips. So I am going to talk to y'all about our comfort zones. <laughs> My notes are on my phone. Just to let y'all know that's what I'm looking at. Um, but I'm going to talk to y'all. So we all know that to get to our next level, why do we talk about our comfort zone so much? Why? Because when you get out of that comfort zone, you're going. That's where the magic happens. That's where you're going to do things that you never thought you could do. That's where you're going to do things that are going to make you want to poop your pants because they're going to be scary. They're going to make your face red. They're going to put you in a very awkward situation. They're probably going to put your anxiety on high. All of those things, but usually, well, probably 99% of the time when something big happens in your life or in your business is because you got out of that comfort zone and did it. Okay. So we're going to talk about getting out of our comfort zone and steps that will help you to do that. So the first thing is to get information. Um, information, knowledge is power. So when you have more knowledge about your business, about your products, about what you're doing, how you're running your business, you are going to be less scared and you're going to feel more powerful. You're going to be more comfortable, right? With getting uncomfortable. Um, so I talked about the, that today in our team, no, get to know your products, get to know our business model, get to know um, the common reasons as to why someone, um, you know, or why someone doesn't want to join our business or why it's holding them back. Learn those things, okay? So knowledge is power. Get that information. The second one is to have a plan. Have a plan to get out of your comfort zone. What are you going to do to get out of, out of your comfort zone? Write down a step-by-step -step, um, plan of how you're going to break through your comfort zone. I'll put this up here so I can read it. Um, you start with the easiest thing to do and then create a plan to get to each level of that uncomfortableness. Okay. Um, the next thing is going to be hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Okay. Yourself. This is not a Whitney's going to hold me accountable. This is not. And yes, I will hold you accountable. I hold my people accountable. They know that. <laughs> but as far as getting out of your comfort zone, I can give you all of these things and ideas for you to get out of that comfort zone. But if you're not doing it, I can't make you do it. Okay. So you have to be able to, to tell your friends and your family, like I'm doing scary things in my business, because when you do those scary things, that's where, when you're going to change. Okay. Um, or you can find an accountability partner. What did you do to get out of your comfort zone this week? Who did you talk to? Okay. Whatever that may look like to you, your spouse, someone in this business, a friend in or out of this business, but finding someone that you can talk to about those scary things is super important. Um, the fourth one is taking baby steps. So at first, when you're getting in this business, we start to do small things that scare us. Like we always encourage people to go live. 
it's not because we want to see your face. I love you, but I'm not asking you to go live to see your face for myself. I want you to go live because it's going to further your business. It's going to build a connection with your customers and other people. It is for you. And that's a baby step, right? Um, a baby step to going live could be a pre-recorded video. Okay. Or it could be practicing for a certain amount of time before you go live. But we have to take those baby steps to then further those. And that's the next next step is the aggressive challenge. So um, with the baby steps, I'll go back and say that, you know, you're going to start desensitizing yourself whoop, to your feelings and your anxiety. Um, there's a lot of people in here that have been diagnosed with anxiety. I am one of them. I get it. Like I will probably be read by the end of this because that's just how I work. I I work with, and I'm not going to compare my anxiety to someone else's, but I know that it's hard. Okay. And it's hard to me. It's very hard. So I know that it may not be your hard, but just know that I have been able to work with that and still be successful. And you can too. Okay. So we're not using that as an excuse to not be successful. Um, so those aggressive challenges, this is when you start doing thing after thing after thing where it's like, okay, like, who am I? Who is this person? Okay. Those hard things um, is going to be shocking your damn self is pretty much what that is. You are like, damn, yes, I just did that. Whatever that may look like in your business. Okay. Um, through all of this, which is number six, is to remain positive. So don't let anything prevent you from blasting past that point of your self-control. Um, recognize that you will have negative outcomes. Like Anya said, you're going to have days where it's like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It's not going to work. Like I've hit my dead end. This is it. I'm done. I've said that many times in my business. We all, everyone hits times in their business where they're like, is this it? Am I done? Like, are we, have I hit my point? Have I hit my peak and I'm going back down? I've had all of those thoughts, but if you keep going and you remain positive and you have the right circle of people, okay, right circle of people, because not everyone in this business is the right circle of people to help you get past that. <sighs> It really comes down to you remaining positive and you having the choice to be who you want to be around and for the people who aren't going to say, oh, it's okay that you haven't done something for your business in the last two weeks. That's not going to be me. You're never going to hear me say that. It's not okay. And if you come to me for advice, be very ready for very positive feedback, okay? Because... I don't even know if it's positive, positive feedback, but you're going to get truthful feedback, I should say. Okay, because not all feedback's positive. And the same for me, okay? Um, but just know that that's all out of love. So a natural part of the process is to feel negative, is to have those negative thoughts, is to have the setback and to have the feelings that you can't go on anymore. But know that there is. Okay, I literally told Anya, me and Anya tell each other, I feel like weekly here, let, just keep going, just keep going, have another conversation, reach out to one more person, just keep going, okay? Um, and then you're going to keep expanding your comfort zone. So like I said, you're going to get to that point where you're just like thing after thing after thing, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I've done so much. And I've grown so much out of my comfort zone. But guess what? You still got more layers to go. Okay. Especially in this business, you're never going to get to it and be like, yes, I'm done. I say that all the time. You're, you're never going to do that. I used to think once I got to SSD, like I was here, I'm doing it. No, there's so much more potential in this business. We have a no cap ceiling income. Let's just put that out there. That is like, there's no max. Like, if that doesn't excite you, then you might be in the wrong spot, okay? Because there is no max amount of money that you can make doing this business. And there's people that <laughs> are doing it and they've paved, paved the way for us to follow them. 
So we're always going to be looking for new challenges. We're always going to be looking to grow. We're always going to be changing the way we do things to get out of that comfort zone and doing things that we never thought or never even imagined that we would do. Okay. So those are the seven steps um, to get out of your comfort zone. And why we talk about that, like I said, the magic, the magic, that is where the magic will happen in your business, in your life. Um, and just know that when we talk about or ask you or challenge you to do something, it's for a reason. Okay. We're not asking you to do anything we haven't done. So I'll ask you this, and I know that we just had a few people join us here recently in this group, but did you do last week's work? Did you do last week's focus? Because the only people that shouldn't be doing th this focus is maybe me and Anya. Honestly, we all should. Did you do it? Did Not only did you have those conversations, did you share them? Did you go out of your comfort zone and share with everyone what your conversation looked like with the fear that it may not look like someone else's? Okay. Um, if you didn't, that's what I'm talking about right here. If you didn't share those things, that is exactly what I'm talking about. And it's not, it may not be a, um, it may not be a comfort zone thing for you. I don't know what it would be, but any, when you, when you're doing any kind of challenge or group focus like this, we used to have it where our homework was something that we would check to make sure that y'all were doing it. But me and Ani said, no, we're not doing that because it's up to you, right? You get to decide if you're going to do these things or not. And I'm not here to babysit or hold your hand and say, oh, you didn't do your homework. It's not going to be that. But you have to take the initiative to do those things. Can't just show up for the lives, watch it, and then not implement anything. That's not going to get you anywhere, okay? Um... Have you been reading that? Is there anything? Um, so, um, I can't see from here. Okay. So as far as the comfort zones, that's all I have. And the biggest thing is just to get out of it. You can't pick and choose which ones you want to do, which comfort zone you want to get out of. Okay. You don't get to choose that because then you're still in some type of comfort zone. Okay. So you're like, oh, I can go live, but I can't have 60 join conversations this month. Okay, why not? I know you have 60 people in your phone. I know you have 60 friends on Facebook. But yeah, we did a challenge. We mentioned a challenge that we're doing in this group. And I think we have 10 people out of 100 in our chat doing that challenge. They're getting out of their comfort zone to better themselves. Okay. And a lot of them have already sponsored this month. Insane. Um, Getting out of your comfort zone with social media is huge. Stop staying in your little bubble of not of having the excuse that you don't know how to do something. I don't know how to do a story. I don't know how to put music on it. I don't know how to, blah, 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 I don't care. Google it. Okay. We cannot keep staying in the bubble and using the excuse of I don't want to do it. Or picking and choosing, I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to do this. No, all of those things are a challenge are going to better you. Um, okay, so as far as comfort zones, that's all I have. But I did have two things um, with the incentive in general. So the incentive in general is going to set your business up to be successful. We said that last month. But when you earn this trip or a trip for one or two, whatever it may be, you're going to be earning so much more than a trip. Okay. Because these incentives are set up because Cincy is showing you how to work your business. They're showing you how to work your business. The things that you get points on are the things that you should be focused on. We have to stay focused on our business. You don't get points for making samples. You don't get points for making graphics. You don't get points for doing Tip Tuesday. Truth bomb. Okay. You get points <laughs> for having the result of actions that you're doing. Okay. And yes, those things are important. Absolutely. I'm not saying they're not, but they come in an order of focus in your business. Okay. So when you earn that incentive trip, you're going to be promoted probably a few times. You're going to have a larger team, a larger group, 
you're going to have the confidence that you didn't realize there was. Okay, you can ask Eric the difference in me when I started and the difference in me now as a person, as a mom, as a wife are two totally different people. Okay, because of Sensi, because of what I've learned in Sensi, because of who I've met in Sensi, and because of what I've accomplished in Sensi, to be completely honest. Okay, so Paige, Hannah, Anya, did y'all have anything else that you wanted to add before we shut it down? Nope. All righty then. Well, that is week two. We're going to have another weekly focus posted probably tomorrow. Um, it's your choice, right? If you want to get out of your comfort zone and do it. But that is all up to you. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.